Look at this. This is amazing. This is so good. Hey lovely people, this is Chef Amit Vashist and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a very simple recipe of making a mint chutney. Yes, you see this lovely coriander here, mint. We also have some spinach and we also have some secret ingredients that will go in making a chutney which will make it absolutely green and lasting for at least 2-3 days. So this mint chutney is so very important to Indian cuisines. You actually serve it with all your kebabs, snacks and you actually use it everywhere with every meal, any time of the day, any time of the season. So let's make this mint chutney absolutely right and after seeing this video, you will also be able to copy and surprise your loved ones. See you after the break. So people have tried endless combinations of getting this mint chutney right. But this one is a very straightforward recipe which has equal part of coriander as well as mint. We call it mint chutney but obviously it has half part of coriander and half part of mint. I also have some spinach leaves which will give it added color, the green color. And we also have some chaat masala, salt, some cumin, ginger, garlic and chilies. Chilies as many you like, less or more, that's completely your choice. So the secret ingredient that I talked about is actually yogurt or we call it curd in India. And this is very very important for making your mint chutney. People often ask whether we have to add this curd or not. Now if you want your mint chutney to last for at least 2-3 days or maybe more, it is very very important that you use curd for making your mint chutney. First thing first, let's get started with the coriander and the mint. Now here you can see that I washed my coriander very nicely. You can see all these lovely stems which are very important for making the mint chutney so I'm not discarding, I'm using them. You have to make sure that you wash these very nicely. I've washed this coriander for at least four to five times. I've removed all the dirt and the coriander is absolutely clean. Similarly, I'm using half part of mint and I've picked the mint very nicely. I've removed the hard stems but I can still keep these, the ones which are just holding the leaves together. So these stems are soft and we can use them for making the chutney. Similarly, I've used this 50 grams of spinach leaves. These spinach leaves will be used to give that added color, as I said in the beginning. So I've washed them, I've picked them, the stems are absolutely clean and we'll use it for making the chutney. So firstly, let's cut the coriander. So you just have to cut it roughly, small enough to fit into our uh, mixy jar. You set them aside and you also cut the spinach. So now I'm taking this pan and I'll roast some cumin seeds. We have to use a little bit, say about a teaspoon. That's it, no more than this. And I'm going to toast it slightly. So we have to roast the cumin, say for about 30 seconds. You don't have to get color on this. I can smell the cumin and I'll just transfer it to a bowl. So cumin is roasted. Now it's time to grind the coriander and mint. So I have this jar and this jar is obviously not big enough to hold everything together. So I'll use half of it. So half of coriander goes in, half of spinach goes in. And here I'm adding half of mint. So I have an inch of ginger, I'm using half of this and 10 grams of garlic cloves. So again, I'll put half of this. A little bit of salt. And this cumin seeds. And this is something very important, you have to add some lemon juice. Here I've squeezed two lemons and I'm adding one at a time. So if you're not sure how spicy the chilies are, use less in the beginning and you can always add more. So four goes in and now it's time you add the yogurt. I have 200 grams of yogurt and I'm adding 100 grams first. I'm also adding two, three cubes of ice. Ice is completely optional. If your yogurt is chilled enough, you don't have to put the ice, but just for the safety. Because of this yogurt, this chutney will come out absolutely green. So while you are grinding, because of the friction, the mint leaves and the coriander leaves turn black. So yogurt is important to make the chutney green. So there you go, you have the first batch of chutney ready. Have a look at it, it's absolutely green, isn't it? Now we can see because of the ice cube that the chutney actually has become slightly thin. This is okay, but we wanted our chutney to be a little more thick. So this time around, I'll not add the ice cubes. We'll repeat the process. We'll add the remaining cumin seeds, ginger, garlic. Now it's time we check the pungency of chilies also. If it is too hot, we'll not add more chilies now. It tastes amazing, but yes, chilies are fine. Four chilies have done the trick. So this time we'll not add the chilies. Lemon juice goes in and the yogurt and the mint. So everything is gone in the jar and it's time to blitz. There you go. 
So this time you can see that the chutney is slightly thicker. You can see it's like a paste. We'll just add everything together. So it's time to blitz it once more. Just for two, three seconds. Now then, we have the lovely mint chutney ready to serve. Except we add few more things in this. But let's look at the color. Tell me, is this the best chutney you've ever seen or made? Look at this. This is amazing. This is so good. So now we'll add some chaat masala and some black salt to this. Just a little. Just make sure you don't put too much of salt. And I also have some Himalayan black salt. Amazing black salt it is. And black salt should always be added to mint chutney. And we'll mix it gently. I'll taste it once more just to check the salt. Wow, everything is so balanced. There's enough salt, there's enough acidity. And obviously the color is making it look beautiful. So let's pour this mint chutney into a bowl and serve it. So there you go guys, the mint chutney recipe decoded. So next time you have a party in your home, make sure you follow this recipe and increase the flavor of your kebabs and snacks by double. Please make sure you like, share and subscribe our channel and we'll see you very soon with another recipe of a very simple thing which you often do not get right all the time. Take care.